Hi, I'm Scott Brannon. I'm a peripheral arterial disease specialist, and I'm here today to talk to you about the importance of awareness and screening for peripheral arterial disease. Peripheral arterial disease is a killer that is not well known. Most people, in fact, only one in five people have heard of peripheral arterial disease. That means four in five, 80% of people have never been exposed to that diagnosis before. The troubling part about that reality is that the prevalence of the, the disease is about 20% in people that are 60 or older and about 40% in patients that are 80 or older. The mortality associated with PAD is eight times greater than the mortality associated with breast cancer. Again, this is an under-recognized killer. Why has this become such a health issue at this time? That has to do with the diabetic epidemic that has been taking place in the United States for about the last 30 years. Ever since we've made changes to the diet that include corn syrup and high sugar substrates, we've seen the rates of diabetes go up consistently every year. Now, peripheral arterial disease is one of the major complications of diabetes. Coronary artery disease, carotid artery disease, and peripheral ar artery disease are all diabetic complications, most of which we are familiar with. Other complications like diabetic retinopathy, which leads to blindness, neuropathy in the periphery, are also things that we need to be aware of, and most people are aware of those, but peripheral arterial disease has been under-recognized. It is a disease that is very easy to screen for. It is also very easy to treat, not just with surgery or intervention, but with lifestyle modifications. Now, what are the consequences of peripheral arterial disease? Why should we be aware of it? The, the consequences of peripheral arterial disease, particularly in diabetics or older patients, is breakdown of the skin and development of diabetic foot ulcer. Other complications that can occur are decreased activity, decreased independence. But what we're really concerned about when we talk about mortality, are you gonna live or die, is the development of a diabetic foot ulcer, breakdown of the skin which can lead very rapidly to infection, infection of the bone, which can lead very rapidly to amputation. And we know very well that the consequences of amputation are severe. And when we look out to five years, we see that three quarters of the patients that undergo major amputation are no longer with us. And having been an expert in this field for as long as I have, I can tell you that data is rock solid. Three out of four patients that I lose to a major amputation are dead within five years, predictably. If you're aware of the risk factors, which I'll go through quickly, diabetes, hypertension, smoking, obesity, high cholesterol. If any of those are diagnoses that you currently have, you need to talk to your primary care physician about getting screened for peripheral arterial disease or give us a call here. We'll get you scheduled for an evaluation.